What's up, everybody? I'm Toy here from the Disney Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about our recent crackdown on um, misuse of the magic bands at Walt Disney World. So, Victoria, do you want to just sort of fill us in a little bit on the information and what's kind of been going going around on this such problem? Um, it's actually a lot of information that I um I want to say it was two weeks ago. Disney began cracking down on magic band and fast pass plus use. So. Mm-hmm. Um, people would basically be able to use expired ticket passes and then link it to their new tickets okay. and just basically book more than the fast passes that they can. So now they're basically aware of the situation. And if they find people doing this, their accounts. Because I was just thinking that, because it's that kind of thing. Obviously, uh, over time, things change and people get used to different ways. And when you have, um, like, your ma- magic band, say, for example, like, you know, say I was going again, but I got my magic band from last time. Well, if this up as if an account, was I able to go in and make fast passes? Even, but once I'm in there, I can use a fast pass because it doesn't. Maybe it just feels like a loophole that people found out about that Disney really shouldn't have or should have thought about a little bit beforehand. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, not every system. I don't think they even try that. Not that I would I really don't use fast passes, to be quite honest. But I mean, it's also a matter of third-party sites too. It's it's just a big issue. I still see people selling paper passes from yeah. Disney World on eBay, and I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, so this is the thing as well. So you, you, your cat, your average Joe that's gone there, um, who's booked. You know, um, that is booking what they're allowed to and they will do it and they will carry on no you know they're not going to be on it if you're a local you, in some ways i could see you might you know if you have found out that or you, maybe you go regularly and you go oh well next time i go i found about this i've ha- found out about this hack and we can get on all the rides and fast passes and get around the park super fast you've just you know you've basically got the golden ticket you've got you know, Fast Pass Plus from over at university where you're basically... That is a very in- <laughs> strong incentive to do that. Yeah, just, it really... <laughs> Lord, sorry. <laughs> so, he agrees. I mean, it's, it's... Like I said, it's... It's making the system. Mm. Sorry, there's some... That's all right. I don't know what he's doing, but... <laughs> <laughs> so he's they're basically... The... Yeah, he's, he's doing his own thing. But... It's basically the third party people just making people pay for the extra tickets. Yeah. Which is really unfair. Yeah, I mean, this whole thing for me is like this thing of, you know, using the system to crack down and get around it. You know, it's very easy, you know, and there are times sometimes when you are, you know, if there is a loophole or a technicality. Um, I know this week I was trying to kind of, I don't know getting a code for a video game that was in America that I couldn't play in the UK because it was out in a couple of weeks. And even though I was legally able to play the game, my Xbox wouldn't allow me to do it. But I was trying (laughs) to find the little hack, the little system that would allow me to get around it. And, you know, you know, it's very normal, especially in tech, you know, to try and use these things, you know, people hack their ZumZum accounts to try and get extra points. And I know if I was at Disney World and I knew about, if everyone knew about these hacks a little bit more uh, easily, you could be like, well, yeah, we can get all the attractions done on a fast pass. This is going to change your holiday. This could, or if you're there for the day, it could completely change your experience. And it, obviously it does need to be cracked down on because, you know, you, everyone should have the same, everyone should be, have the same, you know, you pay your ticket, everyone gets their free, free passes a day. And then if you use them up, you can get extras if it's available. You know, everyone needs to be on the same boat. And I think, you know, this hack, I can understand why people did it. Because I think if, you know, you would be like, oh, well, I'll give it a go. But obviously, if you knew now that showing around the word of being banned is a good way of kind of going, well, we don't want tourists coming in and you'll be afraid of doing it. Well, I'm only there. I've spent all this money. I don't want to get banned. And also, if you're maybe a regular at, and you live near the park, you're going, well, I don't want to get banned. I like going there. So it's like, it always throwing that around is a good way of just like you know, nipping it a little bit in the bud on a lot of people. Yeah, based on what I'm reading here, it's um, it's just saying if you continue to do it numerous times, 
they'll just lock your account all together. Mm. And then you're kind of just SOL as yeah. far as I'm reading, <laughs> which is good. I, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, I think as far as like banning and stuff, it's like you've paid to ticket. Once you're here, you know, if your account is locked down from like, you know, and you just go back to base, you're only being able to have three magic bands, or if you go, or they get a little slap on the wrist and no, you can't have any now. But it, at the end of the day, it's a loophole. And someone and some people managed to find it and got around it, and it's up to Disney to keep on top of this. this do you want to introduce, um, you know, technology? This is what you're going to have to keep ahead of. You know, it's like paper passes. People would, people would cheat that system if they could. You know, they would overdo. You know, you'd have people that would go in there and just use them all day long, and you'd have other people that never even touched them because they didn't understand it. Um, the system will always be someone trying to get a bit faster at it. Well, I actually have been hearing rumors since I moved down here that they're going to be getting rid of, of like paper passes, like re ads, and all that all together, like even the flip card mm. that they're going to be getting rid of pretty soon. So, I mean, that's something to keep an eye on for sure. Personally, I just hope that they at least have the, the, the kiosks scattered around the parks for those of us that haven't got our phones with us. They can still kind of join in because I know last time when I was out there, that made a bit of a difference having, even if it's just one in the resort or one by the entrance, a few there, so you can kind of sort out your magic pa your passes and stuff, and just rem and also just to remind you what you've got. But I kind of do slide into this thing of like, if you manage to find, if they manage to find a system and they've managed to get around it, if you've got away this like got away so far, you did very well. Um, but just think you've just cracked onto it and understand now that there was a loophole that they needed to shut down. So I kind of definitely slide on a little bit more of the, oh, you, if you got away with it. Well, you 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 did that was it was Disney's fault. Yeah, I mean, if it was if it was an accident and you ended up doing it, I can understand that. But if you like are a local found out and then reuse it, I'm just like, eh. I mean, I can't really necessarily blame you because that is a loophole with Disney. But at the same time, you know, you're kind of wrong. Yeah. You're kind of wrong. <laughs> but then we would love to know your thoughts on this um, thing and kind of all that happened about the, the magic bands. So we'd love to know your thoughts on that. As per usual, you can get in touch with us using the comments. Hit that subscribe button on this YouTube channel and also you can check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram, he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We shall see you guys soon. Laters. Bye.